Hello. In today's video, I will show you how to use a new feature in Nerdio Manager for Enterprise version 3.3 and newer called Installed Application Management, which leverages the FSLogix app masking technology within Azure Virtual Desktop. The concept behind install app management is pretty simple. It allows the system to inventory all of the various applications that are installed inside of a particular host pool, and then allows the administrator to create a set of rules that defines which users have access to which applications. Now, the way this works is not simply by uh, removing shortcuts to the apps, but actually hiding all components of an application, making it invisible to a user that does not have permission to access this application. Let's take a look at how this works. So we'll start out with a host pool. And you'll notice here, I have a host pool called 1027 HP1. We are going to select the drop-down menu, select manage and go to this new menu that's now available called installed apps. So we're going to be managing installed apps. And the first thing that we'll notice is we'll see that there was an app discovery that has been executed on November 14th at 5.54 PM and 22 applications have been discovered. Now app discovery runs automatically whenever a new host pool is created or a host pool is re-imaged. Uh, and it also uh, runs in the background every uh, few days so that whenever a host pool uh, may have some new applications installed on it, not through the image process, those apps will be picked up as well. We also have a button here called Discover Apps, which is going to do a manual discovery of any applications that we may have installed, and we can trigger this at any time. The first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and click on these 22 apps and we'll notice that we have things like 7-Zip and Adobe Acrobat and Chrome and Edge and various other applications that have been discovered. Now you'll notice that some of the applications have an installation directory listed and as a result there are a certain number of paths that have been found associated with that application. While other apps Usually some of the system apps do not have a installation directory that was discovered. So an option that we have to perform a more in-depth discovery, for whatever reason, we see the app we want to manage listed here, but it's in this category when there is no path associated with it. We can click this Discover App button right here or this Discover App button right here, and it will tell us which host we want to use to use to perform the discovery it will automatically select one for us but we can choose a different one it will tell us that 22 applications were found during the last discovery installation directory for 12 of these apps could not be automatically discovered expand the advanced section below for more information and here we can expand the advanced section and we can provide an installation directory for any of the other apps we may have and we can also add additional apps. So if we say, you know, some custom app one, and this app happens to be in the program files, custom app one folder, this way, when we run the discovery by clicking this run now button, it's going to look for all the components associated with an application in this folder and automatically detect them. You can also rename these applications the way you want. So for example, I want this to be called instead of Adobe Reader DCM UI, I just want it to be called Adobe Acrobat Reader. So I can remove that part of the name and I can rename my apps here as well. So pretty simple, you know, nothing really that needs to be done unless you have a very custom app that you want to add to the list. I'm going to go ahead and click run now and this will begin a discovery process of applications on that VM. Now let's go ahead and flip over to the actual VM and I'm currently logged into it as a user called NMW Tester 2. Okay, so this is the user I'm logged in with and there are some sample applications I've installed. So you can see I have Google Chrome, I have Microsoft Edge, I have Adobe Reader and I have several shortcuts installed. So these are just locally installed applications. If we look at the properties 
of the shortcut, you can see these are you know pointing it and executable on the C drive. Uh, and the same thing is happening here. And you can also see I have a shortcut both in the start menu pinned to my taskbar, I should say, on my desktop, as well as in the start menu here, I have Adobe Reader, I have Edge, and I can also search for Chrome, and there it is. Now let's see what we can actually do in terms of specifying which app is visible to whom. So the first thing we'll wanna do is we will create a new rule set by clicking this add rule set button. So remember, step number one is discovering the apps. That happens completely automatically in the background, but you can run manual discovery if you have some additional information to provide the system, such as an installation directory of some custom application. And here we're gonna, gonna, gonna do step number two, which is creating a rule set. So let's call this rule set uh, Chrome. And we are going to then click here, and this will show us a list of all the applications that have been discovered. And one of them is going to be Google Chrome. So let's go ahead and select Google Chrome. It gets added to the list right here. I can remove it from the list or I can expand it and it will show me all the various components that belong to Chrome. One of them, as you'll notice, being a Google Chrome link on the desktop, as well as in the program's start menu. So you can see both of these were automatically discovered by the system. Now, once we've selected an application, then we have the option of whom to make it available to. We can either make it available to everyone with exceptions. So this is a, a blacklist type of an approach where it's available to anyone unless you list them to be excluded, or I'm actually going to make it available to no one. And this is a whitelist approach where you can uncheck this box, which will make it available to no one with the exceptions of people that I'll specify in this list. If I'm not gonna specify anyone, that's going to make it not available to anybody. And this message down here is important. Let's see what it says. It says rule sets are automatically applied to hosts when they are added or re-imaged. So this means that this rule set, once we create it, as long as it's enabled, and here is an enable checkbox up here, will be applied to the host pools, to the hosts, I'm sorry, in this host pool when the VMs are added or re-imaged. And you can choose to apply this rule set automatically to the existing hosts. And you have two options here. You can either click save and close, which will save this rule set, but not apply it. Or you can say save and apply. So let's go ahead and just click save and close. And we'll see we now have a new rule set available. It's called Chrome. It's enabled. It includes some settings for Google Chrome application and it is currently assigned to no one. And what options do we have? We can either go ahead and delete or apply or disable this host, uh, this rule set, or we can actually select to apply all of the rule sets, which in our case, it's just this one. So let's go ahead and say, apply all rule sets. And we click OK. We can give users a message if we want. If it's an application, we're going to be impacting that users may be running. Maybe we can give them some warning message. But in our case, let's just go ahead and click OK. Once the new rule set applies to the hosts in this host pool, as we can see right here, just applied, then if we flip back to the actual desktop session, we'll notice that our Google icon is gone. We don't have a way to access it. And even if we go ahead and open up File Explorer and go to our C drive, program files, Google, Chrome, the folder is completely empty. Now, this application wasn't actually completely removed from the system, but it was hidden from all of the users because a rule set said to make this application available to no one. Now let's go ahead and edit this rule set and say, instead of making it available to no one, let's make it available to no one except for our one test user, NMW tester. Let's go ahead and select that and click save and close. And then let's create another, um, let's create another rule set. So we'll go ahead and click on add rule set. 
let's call this uh, Adobe and Edge. We will select Adobe uh, from our list here and let's select Edge from right there. And then let's go ahead and make this unavailable to everyone as well as before and click save and close. So what do we just do? We created another rule set that's going to hide these two applications from everyone. And we've made Chrome be hidden from everyone with the exception of our one test user. So let's go ahead and select all these um, rule sets and go ahead and say apply to hosts to rule sets. We'll click on OK and let this process get completed. Now that the rules have been applied, Let's go ahead and take a look at our session. And here we go. We see that Google Chrome is now visible while Edge and Adobe Reader are not. And if we go ahead and open up Chrome, we'll see that it works as normal. Let's go ahead and browse back to our file explorer. Let's go to the C drive, open up program files, uh, Google Chrome and we'll see the application magically appeared. Now we did not log off the user session. We did not have to reboot the machine and the applications are basically being added and removed uh, on the fly using Nerdio Manager's installed app management technology. So quickly to review, there are three steps to making this feature work. Number one, it's discovering the application which happens automatically in the background but can always be run manually with the Discover Apps button. If there are any apps where the path is not discovered automatically, go ahead and type it in and the system will discover everything associated with that app. That's step number one. Step number two is creating a new uh, rule set by adding it right here. On the rule set, you select which applications you want to include in this rule set and you can even manually uh, add your own apps if you wanted to here. If you wanted to add additional paths, uh, you can add it to an existing app. Or if you wanted to do something custom, you can say custom app, press enter. And now you can specify your paths manually if you wanted to do it that way. So step number two is creating a rule set and deciding whom to make these apps available to. So either doing it based on a whitelist where it's by default available to no one except the users and groups listed or making it based on the blacklist where it's available to everyone with the exception of the listed users and groups. Once the rule set is created, you can either save it and wait for it to apply automatically when the VMs are re-imaged or recreated. You can click to save and apply this particular rule set on the fly to all of the existing session hosts, or you can choose individual uh, hosts or individual rule sets to apply or select them all and apply all rule sets to all the hosts from this dropdown right here. So three steps, easy and very powerful functionality to allow you to manage who gets to see which applications when they log in, which lets you install all the apps, install a super set of apps on the image, and then selectively make certain apps available to certain groups of users. Hope you found this useful, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos.